So welcome to the year 2035. No, we haven't really invented time travel. It is the year 2014, but by looking at this car, you would really think that we're talking to you from somewhere in the future. This is very much the same car that debuted in the Mission Impossible film a couple of years ago. Uh, that was in concept form, this is in production form, and it looks virtually identical to the concept that looked incredibly futuristic. It looked phenomenal going down the road. And the production car, the i8, looks very much the same. The BMW i program has been a huge leap into the unknown for BMW. It's been a huge challenge for them to establish a sub-brand and come up with cars that are dynamic and efficient in equal measure. But they came out with flying colors with the i3, which we drove in the Netherlands last year. And the best part about that car, the all-electric i3, was that it didn't feel like an electrical appliance on wheels. It actually felt like a BMW. Now with the i8, they say that this is the most progressive sports car of the 21st century. This is the most innovative car ever produced by BMW. They say that the i brand is the spearhead of innovation for the group. Now these are really tall claims. Innovative it is. I'm sitting in a carbon fiber tub, a la your favorite supercar. The batteries are in the central tunnel in the middle. There's a aluminum subframe in the front that cradles an electric motor that produces 131 horsepower. There's an aluminum subframe at the back which cradles a 1.5 liter three-cylinder turbocharged petrol engine that produces 231 horsepower from 1.5 liters. And both of these work incredibly seamlessly to power this car to 100 kilometers an hour in 4.4 seconds and a top speed of 250 kilometers an hour. Now these are impressive figures, but what is most impressive is the way this car goes down the road. All of this incredible technology just blends together seamlessly to give you an incredible driving experience going down the road. It feels like nothing that you've ever driven before. The center of gravity is the lowest amongst any production BMW. The polar moment of inertia is also incredibly low because all the weight is set really low in the chassis. It's, it weighs just 1,485 kilograms. 1,500 kgs was their target, um, and they managed to achieve it by engineering every single nut and bolt in this car to be completely bespoke and to be absolutely as light as possible. The weight distribution, like any BMW, is virtually 50-50 front and rear. Needless to say, it's an incredible handling car. It's got incredible turn-in, it's got incredible grip, and because the weight is set really low down uh, in cars that have these lithium-ion battery packs, uh, it actually handles really, really well. To compare this to a traditional sports car like a Porsche 911 or a Jaguar F-Type uh, Coupe would be to do a disservice to the i8 and to cars like that. Uh, those are much more analog machines. That is much more attuned towards the, the selfish driver, uh, so to speak. This car is for the early adopter. It's for the dot-com millionaire. It's for the guy that really appreciates the technology. Uh, and the seamless blend of technology in this car is pretty phenomenal. So it's only been a short drive, but this is a car that looks absolutely sensational going down the road. It really does look like you're in sci-fi film uh, that's depicting a world 50 years away from where we are today. Uh, it's an incredible car, it's an incredible project, and it's a really, really gutsy program from BMW. And they've really managed to put all of those things together and create a car that feels pretty incredible going down the road.